Hello and welcome to Solid Waste India. I'm Afreen Kadwai, the Editor-in-Chief of the website. We have with us Mr. Prabhjot Sodhi. Mr. Sodhi is the Senior Program Director for the Center for Environment Education. He also recently retired as the Head of Circular Economy at the UNDP. Welcome to Solid Waste India, sir. Uh, thank you, Afreen. Mr. Sodhi, I'd like to begin by asking you about the Center for Environment Education. Could you tell us more about the kind of work you do in the waste management sector? Uh, Center for Environment Education is a national institution which is engaged in developing programs and material to increase awareness about the environment and sustainable development. C was established as a center of excellence in 1984 for the then Ministry of Environment and Forest and plays a key role in building the mandate and strategies around environment education, its adaptability, partnerships and building synergies. Until very recently, you were the head of circular economy at the UNDP. Now, there's a growing understanding of this concept, but uh, initially, I'm sure it was a challenging concept to explain and implement. Circular economy today is seen as a very difficult concept. On the contrary, it's a very simple process. It's a concept in India which has emerged from very long times. India is an economy built on repair. It, it is an economy which is built on reuse and uh, reduce systems. The, the concept which is developing to enhance in the industrialization of the economy, it becomes a little more difficult in a way that industrialization has to think about not to engage in more and more material use, but to maximize the efficiency of the current material systems so as to obliterate any waste which is happening. So how now, close or how far do you think India is to the goal of achieving a circular economy in the waste sector? You see, the, if we take the Circular Economy 2020 report, which says that less than 10% of the world is yet circular. So it's a new concept which is being brought okay. into uh, alignment within the world all over. And India has taken the step at the very inception. And I congratulate mm -hmm. that to be to mm -hmm. really make it happen. It has to be becoming a part of the political agenda, which the government is trying to show by making it happen. Now, it has to be seen how far we make it as an integral part of the industry and economy. Second, mm. the board of directors of the companies also need to be understanding that we have to invest in this sort of a systems approach to circularity. The citizens are also a part of the whole show in a large way. They have to understand that we have to use reuse, refill, and come into an economy where we do not waste. After all, when we are talking sustainable development, we are trying to say that the needs of the current is met in a manner that the needs of the future is not jeopardized. So academia, science, and policymakers all are part of the circularity mission to make it happen. What more can be done at the ground level to make things really happen? The concept which is being lined up will be, is very achievable. India mm. is on a road to great success. Would you know that uh, India is using nearly about 9 billion metric tons across all sectors, the materials per annum. And the world is using 200 billion metric tons. Uh, so India plays, you know, roughly about 4 to 3% of the total material use in the world. So India is operationally maximizing, but it has to gear up. The Honorable Prime Minister has also introduced recently in 11 sectors, which are heavily consuming uh, materials, how to it's maximize the resource efficiency, recycling it up in a manner that we achieve better productivity. So I think so it's a step in the right direction. 